the okay so i think we can we can start then um so welcome back everybody after the um coffee break so uh, now we have our uh, first contributed uh, talk um it will be um given by Svetlana Vitorova uh, from Lomonosov Moscow State University and uh, she's going to talk about complexation of unanil by one ten penantrolin to nine dicarboxylamine. Um Svetlana, if you want to share your screen with us. Yes. Um, second. Okay, um, so um, my name is Svetlana Guterova and I'm a student at Lomonosov Moscow State uh, University. And my research is devoted to complexation of uranyl cation by phenantrolene decarboxamides. Uranium is a key element of nuclear energy. The full cycle of electric energy production called uh, the nuclear fuel cycle is a sequence of operations starting uh, with uh, uranium extraction from its ore solutions and ending with the treatment of spent nuclear fuel. In some countries like Russia and France, uh, spent nuclear fuel is reprocessed to return uranium and plutonium to the nuclear fuel cycle. And liquid-liquid um, extraction methods are widely used for this purpose. As a search for new extraction systems for effective binding of uranium still continues. Liquid-liquid uh, extraction is a process uh, in which a substance uh, is distributed um, between uh, two phases. In the case of F elements, uh, metal cation moves to the organic phase uh, if a complex with organic ligand is formed, and this complex is uh, more soluble in the organic phase than in the aqueous phase. And one of the parameters uh, that characterizes an organic ligand's extraction ability is the distribution ratio uh, that shows in which phase our substance is uh, mostly distributed after extraction. Uh, previously, it was oh, sorry. Uh, previously, it was shown that diamides of nitrogen heterocycles are promising for group separation of actinides, and one of the interesting features is the influence of substitutes at the amid nitrogen atom on their extraction properties. Um, Substitutes influence on extraction ability of phenantrolene based ligands were previously studied on ligands with um, alkyl alkyl substitutes um, with different chain lengths. Uh, so in our research, uh, we decided to broaden um, the range of uh, studied substitutes and also examine um, the influence of steric effects uh, on. Uh, extraction efficiency. Uh, to understand uh, profoundly the reason for different extraction abilities of different ligands, their complex structures with metal cations uh, should be studied because complex formation is the main driver for extraction. Also, it should be considered that counter ion behavior in solution affects complex stru structure and therefore extraction abilities. It was shown previously that in uh, polar uh, solvents, uh, a complex with counter ion in outer sphere can be formed and in this case extraction is suppressed. Moreover, uh, ligand conformation can affect counter ion complexation and change extraction efficiency up to two orders. So the aim of our research was to establish a relationship extractant structure, complex structure with F element extraction efficiency. And our goals were to establish extraction ability, uh, establish the geometry of our complexes, and describe complex structures in solid and in liquid states. The extraction results uh, show that ligand number two has the highest extraction ability. Uh, that is um, more than one and a half orders of magnitude higher uh, than for other ligands. And, um, 
this ligand will be marked as a extraction champion. And further, we will try to find uh, the difference in the complexes that are formed during liquid-liquid extraction. Uh, so further analysis of uranium extraction uh, showed that uranyl cation forms complexes with studied ligands with a ratio one to one. Uh, and an example of slope analysis um, is shown on the slide. Uh, this result was also confirmed by um, mass spectrometry with electrospray ionization. Uh, we can see only one peak in the mass spectra that corresponds uh, to our complex, uh, and uh, it um, confirms that the stoichiometry of our complex is one to one. Uh, then uh, our complexes were studied by a variety of spectroscopic techniques, such as X-ray absorption nearish spectroscopy to estimate oxidation state of uranium, uh, extended X-ray absorption spectroscopy uh, to describe local structure of uranium, uh, and X-ray diffraction uh, to study complex structure in solid state. Uh, we synthesized a monocrystal of uh, ligand number three that is also shown on the slide with uranyl ion. Uh, and um, as you can see, uranium uh, has eight coordination centers, two with axial oxygens corresponding to uranyl cation, uh, two with um, uh, amide oxygens, uh, and two with uh, phenantraline uh, nitrogens uh, that correspond to the ligand. And, um, uh, two with uh, oxygens from the nitrate group. Uh, then this monocrystal was also investigated by EXEFs. For organometallic complexes, uh, it is difficult to extract accurate structural parameters solely from EXEFs data because metal ion is coordinated by um, atoms of light elements such as oxygen, nitrogen, and carbon. Um, that cannot be distinguished properly by exas. So in the present work, the crystal data was used as a reference for exas interpretation. And exas data obtained from this monocrystal um, was um, uh, used uh, to uh, compare uh, complex uh, structure in solid and in liquid states. And uh, the ligand uh, for which uh, with which complex uh, was um, synthesized and studied um, by uh, X-ray diffraction and exafs in solid and in liquid states is marked uh, green on the slide. Uh, also exaf spectra were recorded for uh, four other complexes in the organic solution. Uh, spectra were recorded at the Kurchatov Institute, STM beam line uh, in the fluorescence mode. Uh, Xane's uh, region confirms that oxidation state of uranium is 6 plus in all samples. Uh, exact spectra were first analyzed uh, using uh, the Artemis program. For the data analysis, um, crystal data were used uh, as a reference. And um, we can see that uh, the ferrium transfer spectra is uh, dominated uh, by contributions from um, axial oxygens corresponding to uranyl cation uh, and uh, coordination uh, centers related to nitrate group and uh, the ligand uh, are presented in the Fourier transform spectra as peak B uh, and uh, are split into two distinct peaks C and D in solid state samples. Um, best fit results are presented on the slide. And uh, the main result is that substitute group does not change the coordination structure of our complexes. Uh, the main problem in interpretation of exaf spectra is that uranyl ion is coordinated uh, by light elements. And as um, you can see from crystal data, uh, amide oxygens and um, 
epinatrolin nitrogens and um, uh, oxygens of the nitrate group are at a similar distance from uranium atom, which makes them almost indistinguishable by thefts. And unfortunately, these atoms are the ones we are most interested in when trying to see if there is any difference between complex structure in solid uh, and in liquid states or between complexes in solutions. So uh, for further study of complexation specifics, uh, we employed a reverse Monte Carlo method using AVEX code. There are two main advantages of this method. Uh, first, the inclusion of multi-scattering pairs in um, uh, exact fitting procedure using uh, Artemis usually dramatically uh, increases the number of uh, fitted parameters and often makes the obtained results unreliable. Uh, another problem is that our complexes uh, are of a low symmetry, so there are a lot of different multi-scattering paths and uh, including all of them seems like an impossible task. Uh, reverse Monte Carlo method bypasses uh, this problem by automatically handling multi-scattering multi paths. Another advantage of this method is that the fit result uh, is atomic coordinates. And based on these atomic coordinates, radial distribution functions for coordination centers can be built. And uh, this uh, may help us uh, distinguish contributions from different atoms in the exact spectrum. Uh, unfortunately, there are some disadvantages. Um, uh, coordination numbers are not refined during fitting procedure. Uh, however, in our case, we expect uh, coordination numbers to correspond to crystal data and uh, fixed. Um, another problem is that non-structural parameters such as energy shift and amplitude reduction factor cannot be extracted from the fit. Um, so first we build radial distribution functions um, for light atoms of the first and second coordination shells uh, of, uh, for a complex with ligand number three. Um, and uh, this is uh, the complex that was studied both in solid and in liquid state. And uh, as you can see from radial distribution functions, uh, a peak about three angstroms uh, shifts in um, case of liquid state. And uh, from crystal data, uh, we can say that uh, this is the only light element at uh, this distance from uranium. So we can state uh, that nitrate group moves closer to the uranyl cation. Uh, then radial distribution functions were also built uh, for other complexes in solution. And the main result is that substitute group does not change the coordination structure of our complexes. Uh, so in all, uh, reverse Monte Carlo method allows us to see counter ion complexation. Uh, it confirms that substitute group does not change the coordination structure. And we can say that nitrate group has a stronger bond with urine cation in solutions and in crystal. Uh, so we see the difference in extraction abilities for ligands with different substitutes, but complex structures in organic solutions are similar. And the question remains, how do substitutes affect extraction efficiency? There are two thermodynamic models that we can think of in the extraction mechanism. The first one suggests uh, that um, ligand conformation when it is bound to urinal cation is uh, the same or similar for uh, different ligands. And um, uh, the only thing that is different is the starting point from which our ligand uh, moves to this um, bound uh, complex uh, conformation. Uh, the second model suggests that both uh, free ligand state conformation and bound conformation are different. 
um, from the uh, exact analysis data, we can say that um, in our case, the first model is realized as um, exact show that uh, complex structure in organic solutions are similar for uh, ligands with different substitutes. So the difference uh, in extraction abilities uh, can be explained by the difference that the ligand has to overcome between its free state and bound conformations. Uh, in a con uh, conclusion, um, uh, extraction um, mass spectrometry with electrosprayization and the graph methods show that urinal cation forms complexes with studied ligands with a ratio one to one. A reverse Monte Carlo method can be used for interpreting exact spectra of organometallic complexes. Nitrate group has a stronger bond with urinal cation in solution compared to solid state. And substitute group does not change the coordination structure. And that is confirmed by uh, fitting both by conventional exafs and the reverse Monte Carlo methods. And difference in extraction abilities can be explained by difference in configuration of a free ligand and the ligand in a complex with urinal cation. Uh, to conclude, uh, I would like to thank my co-authors and the Russian Ministry of Science and Education. Uh, thank you for your attention. Thank you very much, Svetlana, for um, this uh, very interesting talk, how you can combine the structural analysis with the uh, extraction and, and data. Um, I don't see any questions as yet. Um, I, have a, I have a question, though, if, if I can ask. So okay. you have um, compared your um, solid state with your uh, liquid I mean, solution, yeah. and there is no very much difference in the in the in the structure just in the nitrate in the in the nitrogen of the nitrate that it seems that it's getting closer to the to the uranium atom. But when you show the index as a full example of all the compounds, I see that the uh, when you have ligand uh, four is more similar to the solid state with ligand three. Is this something that I am missing? If you go to the previous to that uh, I, think, uh, I would say that ligand number three uh, radial distribution functions looks more like a uh, complex with ligand number four. Yes, but uh, they are, I think, totally different. Not, not totally, but they're different from solid state. So we can see that this peak that corresponds to uh, oxygen, uh, amid oxygen of the ligand, it uh, is um, lower in liquid states in all liquid samples. Uh, and actually in um, samples uh, with ligands one and two, this first peak is really uh, depressed or suppressed. <laughs> Uh, whereas these uh, ligands with um, cyclic substitutes, they show uh, um, more contribution of um, mid oxygen in this peak. Probably in, so I um, didn't want to state anything about these first uh, two peaks that correspond to oxygen um, and nitrogen um, from um, uh, the ligand and also oxygen from the nitrate group because as I showed previously they are at very similar distance to uranium and uh, I'm not sure that we can distinguish them well by thefts. Mm -hmm. and, and if you go to the experimental data I think it's two slides before this one. Um, yeah, okay. yeah, there. yeah, yeah, there. So, so you see them in the solid, you have the peak C and D that are split respectively. Yes. In, in the in the ligand four, you also have like a kind of, you know, intensity at, at position D. Um, this is just an artifact, do you think, or? Well, actually this, uh, um, the spectra with ligand number four uh, they were uh, kind of, the, they were fitted the worst actually, and uh, they were fitted the worst even with AVAX. And so in the uh, same uh, kind of environment, 
so it, this could be an artifact of just uh, data. Because it doesn't, you know, looking at the ligand and the structure, it doesn't look like it should be any different than this. Is yes, yes. Thank you so much, Ms. I think we have a um, um, question in the... Uh, um, Holly? Yeah, from Holly, she says she can't unmute right now, so I don't know, Sophia, would you like to read it out? So, okay, so Holly Mathilis, uh, she said, thank you for your talk, Mr. Lana. And then she said, you mentioned that one of the problems with RMC is that you cannot extract the energy shift or the amplitude. Are the variable factors able to be extracted? Are they as expected? Thank you in advance. Uh, they can be extracted, yes. Um, they are... Uh... So yes, they can be extracted and they are extracted during the feed in AVEX. And, and they are the, the values more or less that you would expect? Uh, yes, uh, the values are more or less uh, the same, similar to what we get in uh, while feeding with our Temis. Okay, thank you so much. Um, I don't see any other questions there. So, um, no, I think that's all. Okay, so thank you so much, Zelana, for this very thank interesting you, talk. I'm very honored to be here and presenting my talk today. Thank you. Thank you. So I think we can start the next, um, the next talk, um, the last talk of the, of the day. Um, and it's a real pleasure for me to introduce uh, Enrique Sanchez Marcos. Um, he's a, a 